What is going on, guys? How you doing? Good. Where are we? Santa Ana River Lakes. Is it your first time here? It is. And what is the goal for today? Catch fish. And eat them? <laughs> Anyways, yes, we are out in Santa Ana River Lakes today. It is Monday, and today was just one of those days that we just wanted to go out, relax. She has been off work for the past couple of days, so I figured, you know what, what a perfect day to spend it at a nice lake. Unfortunately, with COVID, a lot of local lakes are closed, but Santa Ana River Lakes is still open. People are still out here catching fish, and that is the goal for today. But I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my fishing setups and what works for me and uh, possibly even other few things that I use when I'm out to start fires or whatnot. And I'm also going to be doing a little Christmas giveaway for you guys. I know Christmas has been kind of tough on a lot of families lately and uh, what better way to use the income that comes for this YouTube channel and just kind of get back to you guys. But the giveaway comes later. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you watch the rest of this video. But for now, let's do some fishing, catch some trout and get cooking. stay away from lighters you know toilet paper newspaper all the regular stuff that you might use when you go camping and get lazy we want to go old school traditional and uh, we did just recently pick up a small off-road kit that has a bunch of different emergency tools that you can use to survive in case you're ever out there uh, for us this is just kind of a, a quick uh, I guess you could say hands-on uh, practice with this kit because when we're out there I mean you just never know what could happen flat tire we're out by ourselves no lighter no nothing so this kit putting it to the test uh it's pretty straightforward i mean you do have a bunch of different add-ons like an axe you know flat surface so you can bang stuff up uh a pick pickaxe you know if you want to use this for something and uh you do have a flint that we use to start the fire just like so and uh, I did use my CRK knife and basically all you do is kind of go down just like that create the spark you know and catches that tinder on fire on the other side you do have a emergency whistle I don't want to blow it it's so crazy because people are gonna get you know you're gonna think we have to be rescued but it's a pretty cool tool kit to have uh, you do have other compartments here you know small little shovel just like so and then you actually use the rest of the attachments to make this as long as you want you can just keep it like this or you can actually make it about four feet long the cool thing about this axe is that not only you can use it for picking up stuff like poop your dog poop your own poop but it also has sharp ends just like so or rugged ends so you can use it to cut wood and uh, it's pretty neat so like I said this is just something I picked up this is not a paid advertisement just trying to make our setups as functional as possible in case a real life situation comes into play where we have to use something like this to survive so today I'm not gonna go over everything that it comes with but basically just a few things that we use to get this fire going if you guys want to read more on it you already know the description down below check it out and you, you never know it might just be a good addition for your setup
All right, what's up, guys? Man, check out these little chairs, by the way. Instant chairs. They're tiny, but they are perfect for when you go fishing. You know, you're fishing off the pier. You don't want to carry nothing big, pack light. What do you think? Watch it collapse on us right now. But uh, yes, just enjoying a beautiful day out at uh, Santa Ana River Lakes. No fish yet, huh? Are those Oreos though? Are they fishy? Are they fishy? I'm asking if they're fishing because earlier she was putting the power bait on the on the hook and she was having it. She was having fun. I'm good. So anyways, just chilling by the fire pit. Man, it's nice, huh? It's really nice because everybody's getting kicked out right now. Usually you can do uh, morning fishing, I believe is uh, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then there's another squad or group of people that come in from 5 to 11. But we got the midday special, pretty much show up whenever you want and you can fish to 11, which is pretty neat. And uh, right now it's about 4 p.m., 3.40 something. Uh, usually the time you want to fish is when the water kind of cools down a little bit. So right around 5, 6, especially now that it's getting darker a lot sooner. But uh, yeah, check out this brace, man. Jeez. I've been having some issues with my leg. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't been pushing uh, the past couple of days or possibly weeks. So it's been almost two weeks. Uh, went to go get checked, went to Kaiser, big shout out to them. And uh, it seems like I have a small tumor on my leg, but it's not a, how do we call that? It's not cancerous, but it might need to be removed just because it's just a buildup of tissue and it's hitting one of my nerves. So um, right now I have a brace just to kind of keep it all compact and just without, you know, just keep it from moving like crazy. But it's been so scary, huh? Going to the doctor, man, for a ball that, you know, a ball that just randomly threw on your leg. But we're not here to talk about that. So. Right next to me, a brand new tent. This is an instant tent. It took us, what, 15 seconds? Yep. Well, literally, just, you open it from the bag, take it out of the bag, and it just deploys itself. Uh, two brand new sleeping bags, camping table, and these two chairs. And uh, I do wanna thank you guys so much for always watching, always supporting, and this is why, at the beginning of the video, I told you guys that I wanna just get back to one of you guys. I mean, this year has been a little crazy, huh? Um, a more than yeah, you know, a, a lot of people getting sick, people unfortunately passing away, and uh, not only that, but a lot of us are dealing with some financial hardships. I figured, you know, for this Christmas, I wanted to give back to one of you guys and uh, hook you guys up, you know, with a brand new tent, uh, two sleeping bags, a table, two chairs that. Uh, we're using and I was telling you said that on the way here that uh, the reason why I'm doing this and the reason why we're doing this is because I wanted to encourage you guys to go out and really use the product you know use the tent to go out and take your kids and make lifetime memories you know and if you already have a tent you have sleeping bags you know I'm sure you have a friend that you've taken camping maybe sometime and uh, you know Maybe said, man, I wish I had a tent or, or just really enjoy, enjoyed being out in the open. You can tell them, hey, this Christmas I'm going to hook you up and I'm going to give you a brand new tent. So the way to enter is going to be really simple. And no, it's not going to be off technical. It's not going to be like, hey, you got to go follow seven of my friends and five companies to enter. I've seen that all day, every day on Instagram. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but pretty simple. Go down below uh, go down below in the comments and just comment where you would go if you would win the setup and if you already have a similar setup or a tent on your truck let me know when and where are you going next and that's pretty much it make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you're following me on instagram those three things and that's pretty much it easy simple easy peasy you're gonna win you're gonna win if you don't win someone else will win Hey, we're all happy. So, let's get back 
Hey, you're excited? <laughs> Check it out, guys. Yes! This is... How many hours later? Five. Five hours later. Here we have it, guys. Look at this bad boy. Good size. Yes! Let's get cooking, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So what I'd like to do is bleed them out, you know, it has gills, you can cut it with a knife. Um, I already did that. This fish has been twitching for a long time. And uh, when I was opening the inside of it, this thing actually had a ton of eggs inside. Check this out guys, this is insane. Look at this. These are all salmon eggs here. I mean, uh, salmon eggs, uh, trout eggs. And this is actually a big delicacy here. For those of you guys that like sushi, this is a huge delicacy. Unfortunately, I mean, I didn't know this thing was pregnant or had eggs or else I would probably just let it go, but it's too late now. Uh, but we're gonna Google it and see how we can possibly eat this and just kind of put it on the side. But man, this thing is filled with eggs, man. Look at this. This is crazy. The whole entire valley is filled with eggs. And I know a lot of people are going to be watching this. Some are going to be grossed out. Some are going to be like, man, that's that's bomb right there. But in my case, I'm not a big fan of uh, trout eggs or salmon eggs. So we're just going to just continue to gut it out. It's kind of nasty, I know. But it is what it is. Look at this, Isela. A ton of them, huh? like so these intestines are always a little a little tough and then having a knife that it's not cooperating look at this it's a ton of eggs so what I want to be doing with these I'm not going to be eating them I'm sure there's plenty of fish in there that would rather feast on these instead of me but if you guys have any recipes or if you guys like uh, trout eggs or any type of salmon eggs, let me know down below in the comment section. I definitely do wanna read on those, but for now, they're all going in. You wanna try some? Yes? excited to try his food but this one I'm a little I'm a little skeptical okay so we're gonna go for the big piece here I'm just gonna cut through it the fish fry is actually really fried but the fish itself looks really flaky no that is not bone no I mean it is bones but they they, they flake off 
honest. I don't know, that doesn't look good. It's actually really good. I think it's really fishy. It's, it's really fishy. fishy. Alright guys, so unfortunately he said I thought it was it was okay. But this right here guys, check this out. The tail of a trout. It's like eating it's like eating chips. Try a little bit. I think the fact that we worked all day to catch this fish and now we are here enjoying it. Well, I'm here enjoying it because he said I didn't really dig it. It just makes my night a lot more rewarding. I enjoy seeing you enjoy it. She says she enjoys me enjoying it. Oh, she said she enjoys seeing me enjoy it. And, uh, man. Why go somewhere and spend 10 bucks on a trout and have somebody else catch it for you when you can catch it yourself, cook it yourself, and enjoy it? So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm sure gonna enjoy watching it a little later and editing this video, but I'm really just enjoying this trap right now. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.